All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a bow that looks similar to this. It's got six inch spikes. It's like a four inch, four and a half inch bow. It's very simple to make. I already laced my alligator clip that I'm gonna need to put it on. Um, the stuff you're gonna need, you're gonna need an alligator clip. You're gonna need some tongs, I mean clips. These I both got from from Sally's, the big one, the little ones and the big ones. They're very cheap. Um, you're gonna need a glue gun, lighter, scissors, and some thread to tie it off. Um, in the middle of my bow when I'm done, I'm gonna put this XP dot sticker that I got from Walmart. All I did was cover it with fabric in the back. So it's I glued that down also. Being that a sticker and a glue made it stay so this will stick better to the bow in the middle. Put that off to the side. Um, the spikes in the back, I already made my spikes. These are six inches of one and a half inch ribbon. Six inches. And you can use three. The other bow had three. I'm gonna do four. This is how I made the rigid edge. I'll show you how to do that real quick. You just fold your ribbon in half. And you're going to hold it like that and you don't let go. You're going to cut it at an angle. And don't let go of it. Keep holding it. Loosen it just a little bit and you're going to take your lighter and you're going to light the edges. There you go. And that's all your things. Now to get these to stay together, you're going to crisscross them the way you want them. I'm going to do the light pink in the back. And then I'm going to do the purple on top. And you're just crisscrossing these. Just, just adjust them how you want them. What you think looks nice. You want to go ahead and clip it off in the middle. Now you can put a thread through the middle and tie it if you want. But I'm going to tie this one so this is a video with no needle and thread. And you clip it off. Now if you see, there's little gaps here and here, and that's where you're going to stick your thread through. You're going to take it and put it through the little hole. And then you're going to come from the back, and you're going to push it through this hole right here. Now if you want this secure, you're going to go down, do it on the opposite side now. Go down, pull through, and push it through right here. There you go, you got your thread through, now even it up, so you can tie this off. Now make sure you tie this really tight. So all you need to do, you're going to hold your finger right there in the middle and tie it off. And that's one, two, and three. And all you're going to do is you're going to cut this off. And there's your spikes for the back. And take me only two minute, two minutes. Now this ribbon, I don't really measure it. If you want to know how long it is, it's about 12, uh, about 23 inches. Okay, and I have a cardboard I cut out to five inches. This is so I can wrap it and it stays in place. And heat seal your ribbons, your ends. Now I take it towards the center part of it, I hold it down, and I wrap it around. Very easy. I think I'm doing this one wrong. Here we go. I'm going to wrap it this way. It's slightly over the middle piece. I'm going to wrap it from the bottom. Cross it, bring it back again, as simple as that. 
and I hold it in the front, wrap it around to the back, and stop in the front again. Fold it, slide that out. Now you're gonna want to use the bigger salon clip. You're gonna put that down the middle here. And this is all no sewing, so this is all just tying. You want to center that up, then you're gonna tie it off the same way you did the other one. Very easy to do, very simple to do. Now remember, all these you can needle and thread them if you like to needle and thread. But this is an easier way to do it without having to use needle and thread for those that don't like to use a needle and thread or can't sew. See, same here, you're just gonna tie this off. Make sure you tie it really tight because you're not using a needle and thread. Now if you see this start to scrunch, spread it out a little and then go fast. Okay, again, hold it with your finger and tie it off. One, two, three. Cut it off. Give it the excess. Spread it out, even it out. Being that it's not, you know, that's how you make that. You know, this little pieces right here, you can cut them. I just take it down and just glue it. I mean, it's not going to be seen, it's going to stay down to the other one. So the back's not visible. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to apply a generous amount of glue right here in the middle. Fan it back because you're going to glue the bow on top. There you go. Put some glue. And just even them out. And put it in the middle. Now it doesn't really matter what color you put in the middle because... Now I like my bows to stick to my clip so before I put my middle piece I glue it to the alligator clip. So apply a generous amount of glue and you're just going to center it on there. And just apply some pressure and hold it down. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your clip and you're going to place some glue right here and then you're going to wrap your center piece around. There in the back. I'm gonna take it, go around. See? Now you can leave it just like that. There you go. Hold that over. Put some glue. Pick it up. And then just hold it in place. Okay. Then just cut that off. Put it out of the way. You want to heat seal that in right there. Careful not to burn your ribbon. All right. This way your bow is applied straight to the clip. Makes it harder to come off. It's a double glue. Then, see that makes a perfect little bow right there. You can leave it like that and it's done. But I'm going to go ahead and add the sticker. That's a lot of glue. I don't like my stuff falling off. Just take your sticker and just push it on, move it around, flatten it out. And from a distance you can't really tell that that's a sticker. See? And these are the stickers. I got them from Walmart. It's a whole little set. XP.Dot stickers. It has all the little princesses. And all I did was put them on felt fabric. This little fabric here also you can get at Walmart. It's like 20 cents, very cheap. And just glue it to the back. And there you go, you have a pretty little Sleeping Beauty Princess. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.